Hey guys, how you doing? Um, today we're going to do a little more cold fusion. And uh, so let's go ahead. I have my cold fusion running. Let's go into our da brute. And we can start creating a file. We're going to work with tr arrays today. So let's um, start a file here array. Now let's uh, let's define a simple array. My array equals array new. So if we wanted to um, add items, they start at one. They're one based, not zero, like most Java, like all of Java. And so we could add um, items here. And then we can also loop through them. So if we loop through the array of my array index equals i. And we are going to output the um, the array information. So let's head over to our browser, and we will open up array. to do its thing. Oh, I forgot. I was thinking I, I needed to put a parameter in there. Let's uh let's fix it. And then let's go back to our browser. Or refresh. There we go. We have one, two, three. Let's uh, zoom in here for you. There we go. And obviously, with a loop here, which we will discuss in another. Um, Another video. If we do let's throw a beer at the end, it will go like that. Um, so, okay, that's great. That's a simple basic array. Well, let's uh, let's create another array here. Let's call it um, array two. There we go. And we will make it just a singular dimensional array. Um, we have options to append the array. So we can do array append array2. And we'll do a new value. So hello. Array append. Again, passing the, um, the array value in uh, greetings. Then if we see if we loop out this sucker, Oops. No. keep wanting to virtually do it. Here we go. So here we go. It's um, hello and greetings. Oh, I didn't. Go to my browser. There's my browser. You can see that it outputted hello and greetings there. If we add a third parameter here, um, let's, uh, let's see, let's go up and
morning. And then it was just, you know, um, put the BR in there again so we can easily see it. There we go. So we have one, two, and three. Hello, greetings. Morning is now in there. Um, we can also do. Um, we can output the the length of an array. So let's do that. We do that by array length. And then add passing in the um, the array that you want to see how many items are in it. So there we go. There's obviously three. So if you wanted to, you can use that with the following. So let's create a new array. Array three. And we'll pass in a two parameter there. So we will do this uh, creates a two dimensional array. Let's see. So array three, one, item one, one. We will go, we'll just count it out. Array three, one, two. And then we'll put the numbers next to them. So so we just have a simple little uh, two-dimensional array, and we will uh, loop through those. So we can go loop from one to array length. Don't forget your hash tags. Do an index. So if we wanted to output those items, and you know they're um, it's not a key value pair, but they're <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we could put output those items. The that's in um, the first column, the second column. So we would do we're going to output array three, and we're going to do one. And then we're going to do the index. Don't need that. Mm, that is wrong. Hang on. We want to output the index there. Yes. And then if, if we want to output the other part. Sorry about that. So, um, this i, as it increments, will be this guy. And so we will put out the first one, and then it will output the second one. So it will it'll start with one, and it will do right there, and then the second pass through will do that one. So if we save this, and we can show you here. So here we have one and two. Just like that, no worries. Let's, um, let's go ahead and reuse one of these arrays for our next thing. Let's, um, get rid of some of this. So if we are still in our first array and we do C of set 
and we'll call it eh, a list and we could do array to list put my array inside output that and if we go to our browser now you can see it is one comma two comma three so that works out quite well too so yeah so there's just, just some a few things we can do with arrays um, you can loop through them just uh, like anything else um, so there you go have fun coding. Bye now.